This local sports report is brought to you by Joe Romeo from Remax Twin City and the Romeo Circle. If you're in the market to buy or sell a home or just need advice from an experienced realtor, contact Joe and his team. Give them a call at 519-546-7979 or visit RomeoCircle.com. Obviously, it's something that's on my mind all the time, and uh, it's been a dream of mine for uh, since I was a kid. So um, it's something that I've I've really been looking forward to, and uh, I'm just hoping to hear my name called. These are exciting times for Justin Ertl with the NHL draft taking place later this week. Ertl is an 18-year-old forward, and he is ranked 150th among North American skaters by the NHL Central Scouting Bureau. I'd say I'm really excited and, and uh, really honored to, to be ranked that high, but um, obviously it doesn't really mean much until the draft. So, um, yeah, I think uh, all the sacrifices that uh, both me and my family have made uh, these past couple of years has really come up to this point, and um, it's something that I've worked really hard for uh, these past couple of years. I would say just my work ethic. Um, I think that's a big part of how uh, the player I've become these past couple of years, and. I think that's something that separates me from, from a lot of different players for sure. And um, yeah, I think just the, the sacrifices that I've made these past couple years in order to um, develop as a hockey player, I think has really um, made me the player I am today. Ertl is known for being a hardworking, high scoring, physical forward. Most recently, he played junior A hockey for the Summerside Western Capitals in Prince Edward Island. Before that, Ertl spent one year with St. Andrews College in Aurora. David Manning is the head coach at St. Andrews. You're getting a player that is a highly skilled, uh, you know, good technical abilities. I mean, I think the the crossover from his lacrosse playing abilities gives him really good skill and technique in small areas. You know, he's a big frame, he, he, you know, he's fine playing in traffic um, and, you know, getting that idea of what is a comparable for Justin, you know, I think of a player like Mark Stone, who, who is big, you know, he's got a good stick, bit of a playmaker, but does a little bit of everything. And I think the one thing I would say with Justin is that he's really explored the physical part of his game. And, and that's been a real improvement over the two years that, you know, he's learned how to utilize his big frame and, and give himself opportunities in space and tight areas. So, yeah, I think he's got a really intriguing package. I think his ranking is undervalued for where he would be or should be. You know, if we play a normal season, uh, of our, you know, 55, 60 games. I think, uh, you know, you see a player that probably gets into the, the top 100. I think the teams obviously recognize that. It was just a strange year, and he had to find games where he could, and, and Summerside was uh, gracious enough to be able to get him, you know, some of that, uh, you know, from Christmas on. So, uh, you know, he's done, he's done enough to be drafted. St. Andrews, I, I would say, is one of the best uh, prep hockey programs in uh, all of North America. Um, just the way that you develop there as a person and as a player is, is uh, really second to none. Uh, and I think they do a really good job there. For more highlights, visit our website, 519sportsonline.ca. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter.